I've been designing apps uh, ever since the iPhone App Store came out. One of my favorite apps that I've developed is the slide puzzle. You have an image split into a grid and the tiles are all scrambled up. You just easily swipe the pieces over where you want to solve the puzzle. And it's very customizable so you can change the difficulty and you can also change the background. There are several built-in backgrounds and you can use a picture from your iPad or directly take a photo from within the app and then you can slide a customized puzzle of your choice and it works beautifully on the retina display. You can play individually and sure that's fun but then you can challenge your friends to see who completes a puzzle the fastest using Game Center and it even has built-in voice chat so you can talk to someone who's playing the puzzle with you, even if they're on the other side of the world. For someone who wants to start creating apps for the iPhone and iPad and the Mac, I'd say maybe a good language to learn first would be C because it doesn't have too strange of syntax and it's uh, very similar to many other programming languages such as uh, Ruby or Python. So then another popular app that I've created, you can decorate your own Christmas tree. You have tons of different ornaments to choose from. So first I'm going to add some, some pretty beads and then maybe a star on top. And when you're finished, you can add text. So like a happy new year and Merry Christmas, or you could write your own message that's personalized. And then once you're finished decorating the tree, you can send it via Twitter or email or print it on actual paper. It makes me very happy when I see reviews and feedback from customers that ha how they love the app and how it, the it has helped them because I know that I've helped someone achieve something they wanted to do. So then another cool app that I made that people have really liked and it's a very simple idea. It's an app with information about the solar system. You simply tap on an object and it brings up a beautiful picture that looks great on the retina display along with information such as orbital characteristics and temperatures and then you can view an internal diagram to see how the planets are internally. If you tap the Jupiter which has 63 moons that are known so far you can tap on a moon and it also shows you a very nice picture with beautiful text Right now I'm working on a very large update that adds many more, many more bodies, such as uh, more asteroids and uh, more comets. I've created about 15 apps for both the Mac, iPhone, and iPad. My website is hikaduda.com, H-I-C-A-D-U-D-A.com. It's just a name I made up. Actually, I didn't make it up, my sister did. And I uh, couldn't think of a better name, so it stuck. I have a, a very strong distaste of Java, it's very verbose.